Guarding, what is it? Why do we need it? And what does it actually do? In a typical in-circuit test setup, probes and wires connect the device under test to the measurement circuit on the tester. To understand better about guarding, let's start with an example of a resistor test setup using a constant voltage source. The resistor is connected between the voltage source Vs on the drive or the S bus and the measurement op M on the sense or the I bus. In a perfect situation, 100% of the current flowing through the DUT, IDUT, will flow through the reference resistors RREF. Since IREF equals to IDUT, if we measure V out, we can find that IDUT is equal to V out over RREF. Using Ohm's law, the resistance can be calculated by Vs over IDUT. However, when testing a board of components, the components on the board other than the DUT will form a resultant parallel impedance as represented by Zsg and Zig in the diagram. Because of this parallel path, IREF becomes a combination of current flowing through the DUT and the parallel path represented by IRX and IZIG in the diagram. This results in an error in the calculated value of the resistor. Something needs to be done to eliminate IZIG so that IRX becomes equal to IREF, thus making the calculations for the resistance correct again. The method used is called guarding. To eliminate IZIG, we need to make the potential difference between point G and point I on the diagram to be the same. We can achieve this by tying point G to ground. Since the negative input of the MOA is virtual ground, the positive input will also be. So. If both point G and I are ground, there will be no potential difference between the two points and therefore no current IZIG. This method to tie a point within the circuit on the board temporarily to ground is called guarding. The temporarily ground point is called the guard, is called the guard point. This method is implemented during test debug the test engineer will find in the schematics points across adjacent components to the DOT so that he can place guard points and define them in his test. The tester will automatically place relevant resources to ground that point during the test. With some testers like Agilent I1000D, a constant current source can be used instead of the constant voltage source for the resistance test. This time, the resistor is connected across the constant current source, IS, at point A and B. The, con the current IDUT flowing through the resistor creates a potential difference, VR, measured by the voltmeter. In this way, assuming IS equals to IDUT, the resistance can be calculated by VS over IDUT. Considering other components on the board, they form a resultant parallel impedance as represented by ZA and ZB in the diagram. Similarly, as in the case of constant voltage source, there is a leakage IA from the source current into the parallel path. So IS is not equal to IRX. So the measured resistance is not the same as the actual resistor. To eliminate the leakage current IA, a guard point is added at point G. This time, the guard point connects a buffer between point A and point G. This makes the potentials at point A and G equal, so no potential difference exists to drive current IA. Therefore, no current IA. And with IA equals to zero, 
the correct resistance R can be measured with VR over IS. These guarding methods help to make your measurements more accurate during in-circuit tests. For more information on in-circuit tests, go to www.agilent.com/find/ict. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.